stellar, surreal, superlatives, superfluous. Stellar has several meanings. The first is having to do with the astronomical objects, stars. The sun is a stellar object. To use astronomically speaking, I might say the new space telescope allowed astronomers to view distant stellar formations. Stellar also refers metaphorically to stars in different fields of human endeavor, such as stars in entertainment, sports, academics, business. I might say the 2009 movie Public Enemies featured the stellar actor Johnny Depp and the stellar director Michael Mann. Or I might say that award-winning stellar professor taught so many people so much. Then the third way to use stellar, or the third meaning of stellar, is as a general superlative to describe something that is star-like, something that is awesome, or something that is excellent or outstanding. So I might say, that entire trip to Central America was a stellar experience. Or I might say, that eight-course meal was absolutely stellar. Surreal has several meanings. The first is referring to the cultural and artistic avant-garde movement of surrealism. Surrealism combined elements of reality and actuality with elements of the fantastic or imaginary or dreamlike. So that combination of the real and unreal was one of the defining characteristics of surrealism. One of the great examples of surreal art is this amazing, stellar, surreal painting by Salvador Dali. This painting is housed at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City and was painted in 1931. You can see the element of time being morphed in these two timepieces. Then there is a, a duck. He appears to be lying here in the desert. So there are all these elements of the fantastic or dreamlike combined with the real. And human beings' understanding of time has changed over the past couple of thousand years, particularly in the past hundred years with relativity, where time is no longer a constant. And that is reflected in this timepiece being not uh, completely circular, not... Uh, symmetrical it's asymmetrical and here is the dream it appears to be a duck so this is a great example of surrealism in art so that's surrealism in art and culture but to, the word can also be used to describe an experience that one has that's unusual strange bizarre i might say that amusement park ride was very surreal. So surreal can be used to describe uh, everyday happenings that are odd or strange or bizarre. Superlative or superlatives are adjectives or words that are used to com be complementary towards something, someone, as superlatives, an example of a superlative would be great, fantastic, wonderful, awesome, beautiful, magnificent, stellar. So superlatives are used uh, to describe something, generally speaking, in, in a positive manner. And superlatives, superlatives are words that are generally have positive connotations. An example of using, uh, so that's what superlatives are, but to use the word superlative, one is using a general word to describe those types of words. For instance, I might say, 
that performance was so fantastic that I don't have enough superlatives to describe it. Or that movie, I don't have enough superlatives to describe that movie. I also might say, when talking about Dale's work performance, please don't use superlatives because Dale, as good as he is when he's at work, he calls in sick half the time. So skip the, skip the superlatives. Superfluous means extra, extraneous, unnecessary. To use superlative, or excuse me, to use superfluous in a sentence, I might say, bringing a winter jacket to my trip to Mexico would be totally superfluous. So, unnecessary, extraneous, 